Yeah. So you got that um, internship at 16, mm -hmm. broke into tech ex at 16, which yep. again is still crazy in and of itself, uh, a adult, adult crazy. Uh, but from there, you ended up going to college to, to hoop because you, you yeah. know, you're, you're a baller. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but then you left basketball. Yeah. For computer science yeah like what <laughs> what made you like what what made you do that yeah so like again right so i had the first tech internship mm -hmm. my dad he always told me like i didn't know what i was going to go to college for but i had a basketball scholarship and my dad was like well you need to get a computer science degree because they make the most money software engineers make the most money Shouts out pops yeah yeah so i was like all right cool whatever so i go to i go to the school i'm playing basketball there and i can't manage that many things right so like the school that i was going to they run the program like a d1 program so like we had um individual practice in the morning we had team practice we had study hall we had all these different things we had to do plus go to class now you know computer science is not easy right so i could not keep up with it so yeah. my gpa was mad low wow. so, yeah my gpa was so low so i ended up googling what was the average salary of a software engineer and the average salary of a WNBA player and yeah and what? i saw yep yep i saw what the results were and the average salary of WNBA player is at the time was 45,000 and the average salary of a software engineer was 100k like so i quit the team the next day i was yeah. out of there i was like you like hold up y'all yeah. it's like yo if there. i make it to the wnba i'm gonna be making this yeah but if i focus on this computer science thing, <laughs> i'm gonna be making double yeah not exactly. playing anything not not playing any ball not doing nothing just literally just you know sitting down coding so yeah. quit the team started actually focusing on computer science because yeah. like I, at the time, I thought it was just like a one semester thing. You know, you're young. You don't know what's going on. Like when I went to college, I was 17 and turned 18, like about a month after I got there. Yeah. So I'm like, I didn't know we was going to be really doing programming the whole time. Yeah. So I wasn't really paying attention. But yeah, that's that's what I did. I focused on computer science. Um, and then I, I ended up leaving that school and transferring to VCU. And when I transferred in there, since my GPA was so low, they wouldn't even let me in in the computer science major. I had to come in undeclared. So I had to work my way into computer science. Um, so first semester did good, you know, took classes to get in, um, got the 3.4 GPA and then they let me in after that. And then from there, it was just like struggling through <laughs> all four years, yeah. like just finishing. But, you know, you, you can do it, right? I think most people think like coding is something that they can't do. But I believe everybody can learn how to code. Like mm -hmm. literally anybody can learn how to code if you're willing to put in the work, time and effort to really practice and just start working on projects when you're learning how to code. Yeah. No, that's that's super good. And you know what's crazy? Uh, even with speaking with the, the comments you made about the, the WNBA, mm -hmm. uh, we're speaking with a guest who um, he was sharing how, you know, because e e even if we we talk about like what you make right now. Yeah, um, yeah. And of course, like, I don't I don't know, like your, your total comp, uh, but even just like your 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 kind of salary alone or your OTE alone. Mm -hmm. It's like we actually look at what NBA players are making because we know that there's a huge disparity between like NBA players and WNBA players. And the reason why I'm saying this is I know some people probably watch or listen and they'll hear and be like, oh, yeah, well, that's just for WNBA players. But actually, nah. if you look up like what most uh, NBA even players, NBA players yeah. are making over a four year contract, mm -hmm. like working like even what just your again, not even your total comp, your total comp alone over a four or five year period. Mm -hmm. You've made literally what an NBA player makes on a yeah. four year contract. And then, mm -hmm. of course, their stint as an NBA player, the average time someone even plays in sports is just three and a half years. Yep. So the fact that there's, there's no you longevity. can continue to make that money yeah. and it, yours will just go up, even if you're just yeah. doing your job just because of, you know, na natural like increase in salary, like you're going to be making more money than the average like even NBA player or NFL player, which yeah. is so dope. Just the opportunity in this industry. So you you definitely yeah, you definitely I, bet I on the right out. direction. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out at a young age that people in tech make more money than professional ball players. Yeah, I figured that out at eighteen. Yeah. So like Man. that's why when people be like, how how did you get into tech so young? Like why did you decide to focus on it? Because I use Google. Like I use you Google. At, you, like you I literally went to Google. Yeah, I googled it. Looked at the numbers. I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. Like yeah. you make more money than ball players in tech. Yeah, it's not if you do it's it not right. Glamorized, yeah, it's not. Yeah. yeah, it's not glamorized. Like we not out here. Like oh yeah, we're making more money than ball players. Yeah. But I mean, 
we are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. I'm yeah. not even going to hold you. So, but, and, yeah. and another thing, too, is, like, there's a lot of ball players in my DMs asking for help Yeah. now because they see, like, tech is a viable path for mm-hmm. them. So, you know, I, I love helping them out and giving them direction. Yeah. Because, yeah. like you said, the stint is not forever. Yeah, no, it's really not. And you yeah. know what's crazy? It, it actually, in the midst of this conversation, it's all clicking now because the past three, four, five months, I've been seeing more and more athletes mm-hmm. with blue checks following me mm-hmm. and it's been the weirdest thing you know because so I, I, a few a few like you know old school famous people have followed me and that isn't shocking because many times they want to hit me up and i'm like hey i have a child yeah i want to get into the industry but when i started seeing like young athletes right. follow me it started confusing me <laughs> but then after having like a couple of them hit me up and i started realizing oh like literally in the midst of this conversation it all makes sense like basically they're all like hey this might be another opportunity for me because my career probably isn't gonna last much longer or some of their careers have already ended and they're like man i need to make money especially at that point they're used to making a certain amount of money they're living yeah. a certain lifestyle so they're like dang how can i keep this up especially if they haven't made smart investments using that money that they made which as we know most of them haven't right uh you know and so yeah it, literally you just helped kind of helped it all click because i was like why in the world is these niggas following me this is the yeah. weirdest thing they so, gotta <laughs> still make money you know yeah. like if you if you want to make a lot of money and, and still live a good lifestyle i mean in my opinion i think tech's one of the best ways to do it yeah definitely yeah.